package for you, Mr. Livingston. Oh, good. They're here. The signs for next Saturday. See? Come one, come all. Big show with real singing and dancing stars. Sure, it sounds like a great show, Mr. Livingston. There have been exciting rumors about it spreading around the zoo already. And some of those rumors were having a strange effect at the quarters of Tennessee Tuxedo. I won't do it, Tennessee. I won't be a girl, I tell you. Don't you understand, Baldy? The three of us can be in Stanley's big show next Saturday. We'll be folk singers. All right, all right, I'll do it. What makes you so sure Stanley will want to use us on the show? Because every show needs great talents, and we've got it. Now, come on, let's practice my new song. Abra, cadabra, change, oh, range, oh, re. If I recite these words just right, their magic will change me. Abra, cadabra, change, oh, range, oh, re. But if I do, then I ask you, which animal should I be? Oh, which one should I be? An elephant, an elephant, that's what I could be. And when I go with traveling, I would have my trunk with me. Oh, which one should I be? A turtle, yes, a turtle, yes, that's what I could be. And then wherever I might go, I'd take my house with me. Oh, which one should I be? Abracadabra, change, oh, range, oh, re. If I recite these words just right, their magic will change me. Uh, Mr. Livingston wants to see you in a hurry. Did you hear that, man? Probably wants our act to lead off his show. Come on. Stanley? Your worries are over. We are here. Okay, hit it, group. Abra, cadabra, change, oh, range, oh, re. If I recite... Stop that! Just Stop right. it! Stop that! Now, hold on, Stanley. If you expect us to be on your show... On my show? You? <laughs> I want you to nail up these signs all around the zoo. Nail up signs? But we're singers, Stanley. You've just got to put us on your show. Absolutely not. Now you take these signs and go to work. Oh, no. We're not going anywhere unless you promise to... Stop! Stop! You! The only singers on my show will be stars. Singers with hit recordings. Uh, gee, Tennessee, where is our hit recording? We haven't got any recording, hit or unhit. But we're going to have. Baldy, you go put up those signs. Chumley and I are sneaking out of the zoo to see Mr. Whoopi about a recording. So, you want to know how to make a recording, eh? Well, now, that's a very sound subject. Oh, yes, and I just happen to have a copy of the original phonograph invented by Thomas Edison. How does it work? Well, the principle that makes recording possible is vibration. You talk into this, and that makes a needle vibrate here. And that needle marks the vibrations on this piece of tinfoil. You mean the needle sort of writes the sounds on that tinfoil? Exactly, Tennessee. That's what phonograph means, sound writing. All you have to do is wrap the piece of foil around this little tube, then turn this crank as you speak into this megaphone. A megaphone is a simple instrument for making sounds louder or for aiming them. Now talk into the little end. Hello out there. You see, now when you're recording, you talk into the big end of the megaphone and it aims your voice at the needle and makes it vibrate. And as you turn this crank, the needle writes the sound on the tinfoil. Here, Shumley, say something into the megaphone. Uh, gee, Mr. Whoopi, I, I can't think of a thing. Fine. Listen. Uh, gee, Mr. Whoopi, I, I can't think of a thing. Great, Mr. Whoopi. Now we can make a hit record of our song. A hit record? Ho, <laughs> The only way you could have a hit record is to be hired by a big recording company. They would put out a modern record like this and sell it all across the country. Hmm. A recording company, eh? All right. If that's what it takes, we'll go out and get hired. Thanks, Mr. Whoopi. But wait. Good afternoon, Mr. Soundsopper. We've got a great new song that's sure to be a hit. I must be cracking up. A penguin and a walrus yet. Get out of my office. Hold on, Mr. Soundsapper. Out. Get out. We're not...
fudging until you listen. We've got... Wait! You'll regret this sound, Sapper. We're taking our song to another recording company. But unfortunately, at the next recording company... And at the next... Finally back in Mr. Whoopi's office. I tried to warn you, Tennessee. But how can we get to be popular singers without a hit record? Well, you might do what performers used to do before there were any recordings. Go from one group to another singing your song. Phineas J. Whoopi, you're the greatest. And back in the zoo... Abra, Cadabra, change your range your But if I do, then I ask you, which animal should I be? Oh, which one should I be? A tall giraffe, a tall giraffe, uh, that's what I could be. And then I'd see over every fence and watch the ball game free. Oh, which one should I be? A zebra, yes, a zebra, yes, that's what I would be. But I'd paint extra stripes and then play checkers right on me. Oh, which one should I be? A monkey, yes, a monkey, yes, that's what I could be. Then I'd go swinging by my tail and still have my hands free. Oh, which one should I be? Abra, Cadabra. And so it went until the day of Stanley's big show. Well, Stanley, can we be on your show tonight? Never. But we're popular now, Stanley. You've just got to let us be on your show. Tennessee, if you're ever on any of my shows, I will eat my hat. <laughs> but that night, as the big show began... Now, folks, it's my great pleasure to present our first star, Rock Roller Drill. Oh, my poor show. All right, all right, have it your way. Introducing now, Tennessee Tuxedo... And his folk singers. <laughs> Abra, Cadabra, change o range o ring. If I recite these words just right, their magic will change me. Abra, Cadabra, change o range o ring. But if I do, then I ask you, which animal should I be? Oh, which one should I be? A walrus, yes, a walrus, yes, that's what I could be. And with my teeth outside my mouth, I brush them easily. Oh, which one should I be? A penguin, yes, a penguin, yes, that's what I could be. Then I could say I will not fail, cause I'd be the Tennessee. Oh, which one should I be? A billy goat, a billy goat, that's what I could be. Because a goat would love the chance to eat my hat for me. But it won't taste good. 